So I need my pieces. So let's look at all of this. Your it's piece, really fun. Okay, you, this is what you like? That's what I want. Thank but look want. what I want to show you. The fun thing about this is that you can just buy a stack of back quarters. It's just really, really fun. <laughs> and, and because the star is supposed to be shining, right? Yeah. A shiny thing? So look. This has a little bit of glitter in it. And what's important when you pick out your uh, stack of back quarters is that you do need to have the values of like the dark. I personally like the dark stars and um, a, a medium color. It goes dark and then you need to have medium and then you need to have light. That's simple, right? And so you can see in my combination she did such a good job. Do you see how Amy quilted it? Isn't that great? I really like just the stitching of the little star down through the middle and bring out the accent. I know Teresa said, she told me Amy quilted to hide some of my mistakes. <laughs> <laughs> see? But it's those ca that cataract surgery I can't see really straight. And I so... And I sewed with Patty, and she kept on saying, Elle, your seams are so skinny. I said, I know, I'm doing my best. <laughs> Amy hit it all. Look, they're even all perky points. Yay, we love them, we love them. Just with the star and then the little cornerstones in the middle, it's just so much fun. I love it. Really enjoyed it. Um, we were at Road to California, and Tony cut my pieces for my stars. Wasn't that nice? And I got them all together. But this is a great package. It's just called Kona Sheen. Okay, we're going to push that aside. And look what I have. I decided that we needed to have a little iron on the table and spray starch. The seams have to lay flat on this star. Get it? They have to lay flat. If they, if they fold over, you get really upset. So we're going to use some best press today to help those seams lay flat. Okay? Good. So we've got the picture on the front. So just turn through your pattern. It's really well done. It tells you the yardage that I just now told you that you can use fat quarters for the stars, one fat quarter for each star. There's lots of fabric left, lots of fabric left. And you do need to have your black one and a half yards. That's a lot of it. And then there is a page of cutting on page, it's three. It's from AccuQuilt, but I actually, I simplified it. You like that? Yeah. Yay, I simplified it. Turn the page, beep. This page, I pulled from another one, and I tried to make it very simple for you to understand. And so that's what we're going to do. Okay, Teresa, help me. Okay, so I need the die. Da -da -da -da! Here's my die. And I will tell you why I got so excited. Because... AccuQuilt divided these according to the color that they're supposed to be cut. And so this is grouped. This is my black. This is my dark star. And this is my light star. Are you excited about that? Are you excited about that? It's, I, it's like, whoa, I'm really excited about this. Okay, so let me just go ahead and move this out of the way so I can lay it out for you, for Eric, and show you. Okay, so they even did the diagram, so we're going to start with A and B, A and B, and underneath it tells you what size piece to cut, and what size piece is it? It says right underneath, 9 and a fourth by 14. This is for one star. I found out that I liked working with only one star at a time and picking out the colors. 
So this is nine and a, nine and a fourth by 14. And it says underneath, just take this, fold it in force, like so. That was easy, right? And look at this. Ta-da! Easy. Yeah, go wow. That's what I thought. Easy peasy, easy peasy. Okay, so now I tried to do kind of similar like the colors is green, right? But it's not quite the right green. And this is the dark color. This is in the box number two. Here it is right here. It's C, D, and F. Okay, your piece is seven by 16. Yep. Take it and fold it in force. The only thing about whenever I fold in force, then you have to restack because there's there's right side up, wrong side up, right side up, right. You have to restack. Okay, fold it in force. Put it on the next section. Ooh, don't get too excited. Is that nice? Easy. Easy. And then the last one. This got a little confusing. They did make a little bit of a mistake, but I, I, I'll accept that. Okay, so you have right here E, and this is your light, and it's a strip, and the size is two and a half by 10, right? Mm -hmm. And once again, you take that and fold it in force. Do, 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 fold it in force. And out of this same color, see how it's just gonna fit right on there? Ooh. You guys aren't as excited as I am. Okay. Are you excited? I am. And then there's the last pieces, one three and a half inch square, and it has to go on A. See, it shows in that little box right there, but there is no piece there. No, you cut, you have to use this light color. It's three and a half inches, and you have to go back over here. There's A. So, oh, so let's just put it on A. Okay? All of the pieces for one star are now on this block. And what it's look, it's skinny. Woohoo! That's what I really like. It's so skinny that you can use your go baby or your go me. It keeps on changing. <laughs> I think it's it's the small one, okay? Would you like to cut it or you want me to cut it? Oh, okay. Now give me the mat. Okay. Okay, we're doing good. Skinny mat. You gotta have a skinny mat too. And I'm just so excited because these are less expensive. Just being a smaller piece. Okay, open open your little Okay. Oh, Teresa was smart. She brought a rubberized mat so it doesn't slide on her. Okay, did you eat your Cheerios? You know, we got spoiled with that electric. We'll see. I know. No, you can do it. I did it. Yeah. Look. Oh. See, isn't it's it like easy? It's not like you're not even trying that thing. You see, it's easy. Even my one year old can do it. <laughs> Yeah, I, I'm just really excited about it. I The reason that I discovered it is because I was home. I was more nervous than I was. I'm always <laughs> using the electric now, and I never ha I don't know but, when I But isn't this. it easy? Very. I mean, you just have to keep going, but it's not. And so uh, I think that yeah, it was. We're all done. See? That was it. That was it. See? Excited. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yeah, don't forget to put something okay, under. Okay, but wait, wait, we we're going to do something else. Don't put it away. Oh, don't put it away. Okay, so just do some, do, 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 do. I found this. I watched this guy. Hey, you guys, come in. I already introduced you and said, Tony cut all my pieces for the star. <laughs> do you like it, Tony? Oh, it yeah. yeah, you did a good job, huh? And I just showed them how cool it is to do this die. He was demonstrating this. Okay, so now you can just go ahead. Look at this. I'm so excited. Perfect. Huh? Woo. 
like this is hardly anything. I can just get rid of it. But not this. Okay, not this. All right, and here's our little piece right under here that goes with that, right? <laughs> That's where it goes. Yep. And look what you have here. This is all your black. And the one thing is, is if you look at my cute little stars in the corners, do you see the outside edges? Yes, you see those. Yes, you see this. Look at this. This is perfect for that. Perfect for this little part right here. See that? Don't throw this away. I'm in trouble. I save everything. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I'm just going to take these and move these off. And I'm going to show you a couple of little extra tricks. Don't you like that? Yep. I think that's what the trick, the um, instructions say. I have some tricks up my sleeve. So see this piece? Look at this. I need scissors. <laughs> okay. So I'm just going to clip this off right here right here let's see if they fit <gasps> how many do i need of d Three, four. Four. four look at that four Ooh, pretty cool huh yep. yep that's good and now this is what i also found look you could even get more <laughs> yeah you could get lots more you could get enough for two little stars right here and the other thing that I discovered was that these cornerstones, the little cornerstones right here, in the instructions they say cut one and a half inch squares and one and a half inch strips. But I found out that F, F is what you're supposed to use for there, that you can actually, um, you can cut them with this, and if you have a one and three fourths inch strip cutter, you can cut your lattice one and three fourths inches. Good? Good? So all you need here are scraps. Just kind of pull it together, different colors. I think I have six at least here. Okay, now, can you do this, Teresa? I'll try. <laughs> Roll the drums, stack it, oh yes, and I brought that. She found that. Okay, see, if you just put part of, cover part of your die, just get your little um, mat. You don't have to put your whole big mat in there. Did you know that? Yes. Whenever you do a lot of AccuQuilt cutting, you figure out all these things. Yes, it is, and it and it and it's especially when you're working. You can do it faster too. You don't have to do that whole thing. Okay, so let's move it over. Okay, let's see. Oh, look what we have. We have our little cornerstones for right here. Pretty, and we have our little our D's for our little star. All cut. Oh, I feel so clever. <laughs> it's these moments that make me really excited. <laughs> That's funny, huh? Okay, so I did something else too. That was a good page, huh? Yeah. I thought that was the best page ever. So let's just go to the next page and I'll tell you what I did. Brenda is so good about sending me instructions, but those were really little instructions, so I took the cover the cardboard cover of the um, the die, and Merritt inserted that page. This page is bigger. Don't they know we're all having cataract surgery? <laughs> we can't see anymore. You got to make them big, <laughs> right? Okay, so that's that's very good. All right, so I'm happy. I'm gonna set these aside. How are we doing? Good. Good. Okay, so um, I I'm gonna take um, E and D, and I did try to color them. So let me see. I I probably need that one back. I need to have that with the letters 
so I can see them. I think this one is D, and this one is E, right? I bet you that's it. Right? Yeah. Yeah, D and E. Okay, so I'm right. This is D, and this is E. D and E, okay? Right? So one thing I have made lots of stars when you take and you add the triangle large smaller triangle to the larger triangle I believe you should start with the right small triangle and that's just so that you can pick it up line it up and now we have to make sure they're all right side up and you got to take a look but the the matching is excellent on this. Okay, here we go. So see the little shapes that you've got? Can you see them? Mm -hmm. When you flip this right sides together, see how that just lines up there? Mm -hmm. And down in the bottom, they're not like points like we usually have. Mm -hmm. But that's it. That's what it is that you're going to match. I'm going to put these over here. And Teresa, you get to turn them all right side up. <laughs> everything right side up? Oh. Yep, everything oh, okay. right side up. Can I take my mask off? Yeah. yeah. Ah. You guys, we're, we're socially distant, right? Yeah. Yeah. And we're safe, right? Yeah. <sighs> wow, I can breathe. <laughs> okay, the most important thing is, is that you have to get, you have to have a perfect quarter of an inch seam. That's... There's no doubt about this. You have to have a perfect quarter of an inch. And see how I have the pieces all set up? I'm just going to keep on flipping them right sides together. Thank you. Teresa put a little jumper scrap in here for me. I have in red thread. I'm using my quarter of an inch. And you have to do a quarter of an inch the whole way. Okay, so I'm just going to make one star. I decided that we could call this star the half hour star. Oh. Ah, doesn't that sound good? The half hour star. Whoops, so I'm covering it. Eric, can you get my shape? Yep. Okay, so, so I like to get it started at least at the top. And you do a stiletto is really helpful. Even if you just get it started, then go to the bottom end and make sure you line it up perfectly. And um, personally, I, I really love my stiletto to do it. Okay, so one, two, this is number three. Are you with me? Yep. Okay, um, I have made many stars, but I think this is the most favorite one that I ever did. So that's a pretty good testimony. Good thing, Tony, you cut all those pieces. I've gone nuts making stars. Yeah. I know. <laughs> we worked road to California. I was upstairs teaching, and um, I I came down saw Tony. He had this box that he was supposed to cut up that Teresa gave him to cut up, and I said, "Wait a minute, Tony. I need stars." <laughs> so anyhow. It's a great die, isn't it? Yes, it's, it's really a great die. Okay, I'm just going to cut my um, little jumper scrap and keep this going right through there. Well, what I found out is that there is so much pressing that I decided to use my little iron and my little wool mat right beside me. And it just worked a lot better. So I'm just going to cut these. Okay, and um, right now, you're going to just take all four of them. And the pattern says to um, press the seams open, but I like to press them mm -hmm. the to the small triangle. Okay, so this is a really cool iron. This is the first time I used it. Okay, it's pretty hot here. And then you're just going to open up this triangle, and it's all in the nice straight quarter inch. 
and in that pressing. So just press, lift the tri little triangle up on top and press it so the seam is behind it. This, this is cool. It's, it gets a, it's a little hot to hold on to, but I guess yeah. this is my wool mat. You guys, if you have not the used our wool mat. It's in a little mat. Yes, it does. Oh, yeah. So you need to set it there. Yes. Yeah. It is, an, you it can is put cool. It away when it's hot. You can? It's silicone. Yes. Okay. Little sh sh shoot of. of we're going to make of these. Nice smelling water. Yes, <laughs> Teresa. Okay, I am really pressing these hard because I found out the harder you press them, the less problem you have whenever you're trying to put them together. Okay. A platform? A clapper. A clapper. Oh, yeah. Okay, so see, this is what it looks like on the front. Mm -hmm. And look at the back. And you, and you got to do it. Okay, so then this comes next. And the reason that I did it the way I did it, right, left, is because you have this seam here. And I didn't want to fight this seam. So now whenever I take the left and I flip it right sides together, you start sewing from the bottom. Okay, if you sew from the bottom up, you sew with your seam and you won't wrinkle it up. Yes, what do you think about that? You can pay me 50 bucks for that little hint. <laughs> Seriously, the, my first ones, they were really all over the place. I couldn't even show them to you. I hoped Amy didn't look at them while she was uh, quilting. <laughs> But I figured it out. Okay, so this is how it lines up. Okay, you on this, Eric? Mm -hmm. Okay, so you can see it's perfect. See how those funny little notches all line up? Okay, you know what? We're almost done with this. This is the hardest part, just getting these things. Well, we have to do this all over again with the dark stars. But anyhow, it's not hard. Once you get the, these, this one done, Okay, one and two, get it going. So they, there are other patterns um, with this. See, I'm starting at the bottom, get it all lined up. Use your um, quarter inch seam, make sure you do it really carefully. If you, if it doesn't quite fit at the top, right where my stiletto is, don't be afraid to just give it a little stretch and hold it down with your stiletto. And I found out that it's really smart to look at your stitching before you press and before you get up to the end. It's good to find it in the beginning. Okay, one more. Okay, do you have any questions to ask me? What do you want to know? <laughs> okay, uh, I have a question for you. Ask me. I, I can show you one thing that I did. Okay, let me see. My eyes, my scissors. Get my scissors on. Okay. All right. How about, um, Teresa, maybe you can come over and I will show what I didn't like. Okay, now I'm going to put them on the pressing mat. Look at them, make sure it's good quarter inch seam allowance, every one of them. Set the seam, open, and press. And you have to have a quarter of an inch right there. Huh? You got to have, yep, and let's look and see if they're, ooh. Do you see any wrinkles? Nah, is that good, huh? Okay, so Brenda asked me, okay, you're going to do that. Brenda asked me about select. You're going to just press like I did. You asked me about um, selecting my colors. Uh, I did. And yes, a lot of times I did like a light green and a dark green. But then I didn't really have a light yellow, so I just did kind of like a silver. And some of them, um, 
I put the silver or the white. Here is like red and pink. That worked. That's light purple and dark purple. They worked except that. I made this one and I didn't like it. Am I right? I, I, I just didn't, I didn't like it. Well, somebody loved it. It, it looked like Halloween. Somebody huh? loved it. You really like it? I didn't. I didn't think it would fit in this quilt. Tony, this is for you. This was the concept that I liked better. I thought I would make a, a red, and then I could do like a table runner for patriotic. That would look really nice. That is my concept, and if I weren't doing the green, I would have um, done a red today. Just to have three in a row, I thought it would be really nice. And the same thing with my corner squares. You really do need to place them and stand back and look at them because some of them just do not show. If they're too much even like the black, I like the contrast in this. And so that worked really good. Okay, let me see. Oh, it did it look, it looks good, Teresa, yeah? Okay, so now I found out that it's really smart to change over. See this one change, this one troubles me. See that the one sixteenth of an inch? But I do have my quarter inch seam there. So that's good. You have to have this quarter inch and that V. You have this V on the back that you're going to sew right across here. Right across there. How's the video? Can you guys all see it? Good. Thank you, Eric. Okay, so now just cut them apart and we're going to move on. So now I need to go to my little square. Okay. <laughs> I'm so bad. Okay. I, I said, okay, just skip three and four. <laughs> That's what I feel. Just skip three and four and go, go right to five. Okay, because I sew my vertical rows. You, we can lay it out now. It's too bad it's a white table, huh? You put it in the mat, Al. Yes, absolutely. Okay, let me pull this closer to me. Okay, so if you just lay out your little star, okay, this is where you start. Here's A, here are all the little points, da 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 right? Is that right? Yep. Yeah. yep. And then look at this. Now they have to go all the little corners, right like this. So that's exactly, if you just skip to five, that's what you get, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yep. Right. Okay, because, oh, did you lay these pieces out for me, Teresa? Thank you. But I'm going to slide these over. Because what I do is vertical rows, okay? I go flip, flip, and look how the corners are lining up. Is that unbelievable? See that? Perfect. Perfect. <coughs> that. So I go, ch -ch 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 -ch, right? That's it. it. It, you know, with like step three and four, this is exactly what we're doing, but we're jumping forward. How many of you do do your sewing this way? Let me see. You, if you, yeah, I, I taught you that, and I just want to. Yeah, it's just it's just easier. It's like um, you don't completely lined up there like that. Completely lined up. Okay, so let me see. I have to remember. This is a little different than the one that. I did. Okay, so now again you have to do the quarter of an inch. And you just want to make sure these corners are all lined up. Ta da! And this one comes next, right behind it. Get those corners lined up. And right now I cannot see that quarter inch on the other side, but it looks good. And then the last piece is going to go right in here. Um, and then I'll tell you what I did yesterday. Well, Brenda, you asked me what I was doing. 
I'll tell you what I was doing yesterday, okay? As soon as I describe this, and then I'll show you. Okay, now let's just get this little jumper scrap here. Oh, we have a new tool that you can put your sewing machine, put your scissors right in your sewing machine. Did you bring that, Teresa? Um, he ordered it. I don't know if they had a come. At Road, we what. found a little tool that a, a young... We have 80 in stock. Just turned it on, uh, Maybe I should put it in on her here. Okay, let me see. I'll go and see. Open it up. One. Is that good? Yeah. Yep. Oh, look, I have my seam right up here. That's good. Okay, I can just do this while I'm while I'm um, opening it up. I'm pushing towards the square. This one, oh, look at the stitching. Oh, this one, Eric can go as close as he wants. You see that, V? Not all of them. <laughs> I have learned, but I'm just going to open that and flip it so that this seam went under the square. Okay? Okay, and then open it again, and we're going to press this way. Looking good. Yeah? Yeah? Okay, so now we're just going to do the same thing here, right here, and go down. Okay, one, two, and three. Flip each one of them over, and I'm going to tell you what I did yesterday. I went to a Julian group um, with Betty Reynolds. Betty Reynolds used to own the quilt shop in Julian. She had factory day. Factory day, and I, oh my gosh, factory day, that sounds really good. I need to go to that. So I took my machine, and what we did was work on finishing 79 quilts for the birth center in Ramona. She, and she, she had all of these little tops that other people had sewn and we sewed the backings. We put the backings on. We birthed it. I was the birther. I got to birth them. <laughs> and, um, you know, I call turning, quick turning a quilt birthing. But, and I've shown that on my TV show many times. And more than once, I've gotten a call from a reader. She said, or a viewer, she said, Show me how to do that burping again. <laughs> it's not burping, it's birthing. <laughs> but anyhow, that's what we did yesterday. And we got, we got, um, we got about 70, 70 done. Wow. Is that ex Somebody else, we were all in teams. No, we only tied them. And also, we turned them and stitched up the opening. And um, many um, of the ladies also use them as a prayer quilt. You get a quilt that's birthed and the opening is closed. And they, do, they take a stitch and say a prayer, especially for the young women that were birthing their first baby. It's, it's really special. It was very, very special. But anyhow, I had a good time. We worked, and Betty said, oh, man, you didn't have to spend your day here doing that. And I go, oh, yeah, well, I really liked it. OK. <laughs> OK, so now that that's all joined together, what I do is I just open this and flip. I just, this just goes straight over. So the seam is right behind this square. This one, the seam goes under this square. And you just take these two pieces with your fingers and you just, you're pressing them in towards the middle. This one, it naturally gets pressed in towards the middle. This one gets pressed out. So it's out, in, out. Got it? Out, in, out. And now I find out really important. Ooh, I am so excited. They're very perky. 
Everyone has a point on it. Aren't you excited? <laughs> <laughs> I am. <laughs> OK, so now with our little iron. Oh, now you really got a good shot of that. That's in, that's in, and that's out, and that's out. And if you do it first on the right side, and then you just pick it over, that looks good. Very nice. Oh, it looks nice. OK, give it some uh, air and beat the hell out of it. <laughs> really firm pressing out, in, out. OK, and now it's just ready to just pick it up. Flip it right sides together. Those are just like pinning them. And everything's going to lock and go across and across. All right? Yep. Is that good? Yep. OK, so. OK, you come over here and show, show oh, them. And I that's was going to just put it on your machine. Yeah, <laughs> but you f show them first because okay. it's a perfect time. I really I saw loved this. it. We, um, I wrote, it was very cute that. Elle and I got one of these any scissor, scissors holders. 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 Yeah. But uh -huh. that's what it, anyway, uh, Ryan says we don't have it yet, but it, they already shipped them to us. But we loved, I love them. And, I did too. And Elle and I, kid, we loved it that we were wanted to come and show Ryan. And then before I even showed him that morning, he brought it to me. He said, here, take pictures with Eric with this thing. So obviously, we all like this little tool. It, it is. And then I, can't, I don't think you can see, but it's a very um, a strong, uh, sticky. A sticky, a sticky, right? Yeah. But all you have to do is twist it a little bit and comes right off. And I save uh, this. It, it was in my machine. So I oh, twisted it. It's OK. <laughs> it's twisted it a little bit, and it came right out. And I'm going to just put it in her machine. And you know what? You will not never misplace your scissors, so they're not on your way. Exactly. You know? and, and then it has two different ones. So now I'm going to show you that. Yeah, show them right there, because I, you, have to re, oh. you have to look at the picture. Yeah, look at it. <laughs> you can either put it straight. You can either put them straight like this, or you can put it at an angle. You see, however it works for you. I'm going to be honest with you, in an angle, if I keep going back to, some, to do something and machine this, so you make sure you don't poke yourself. You know, So you, you figure it out, but it's really clear. Um, he doesn't know uh, I have a map price thing, but he thinks it's around $10. I can't tell you for sure, but keep looking on his head. I think it's a really cute, cute yeah. thing. And it's very, the, again, the grip it, it, it stays on. Okay? Yeah, it was, do that? it was really exciting because Teresa and I were just walking through the show and the grandpa of the, this designer yes, pulled, nice. pulled us over. And yeah. he's and he said, um, you know, he said he said, you know me, me, you know me. I go, no. Oh. <laughs> See, said, Elle's looking for her scissors. Yeah, right, right. Here. I'm looking for my scissors. <laughs> exactly. But so look, so you just like you use it and then you put it back down yeah. there. Yeah, too bad it's Eric's on I the wrong know, side. I'm sorry. But it's okay. Yeah, it's okay. All right, I got to check first, make sure I'm perking. Ooh, it's pretty good. Look at this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, what's under my fingertips are not good. <laughs> they're a little bit off. We'll have to hang this high and keep it moving, right? They're, they're a little off. I would probably take them and redo this corner. It's about a sixteenth of an inch off. Can you see it? We do that too. I know. Don't you feel good? Now you know. But I, I, I do. I do. And so, okay. So now, this is our last pressing on this guy. 
We're just going to press this, press it good, hard, yes. Turn this one over, press it good. And then all you do is open and go in this way. So the last ones now are pressed away from the middle, away from the middle. Cute, huh? Cute. I like it. Nice on the back, too. Good. Yay, 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 yay. All right, so now the next part is just very, very simple because it's these parts. This is the, um, the black, and this is um, B. This is B right here. Teresa had it all lined up for me. Okay, and this is your step seven. Okay, your step seven. Step seven, see, I thought they laid it out really nice. What do you think? Whoop, that doesn't work right. Okay, let's get this figured out. Oh my God, I'm like crazy now. Ah, okay, now I got it. One, two, there. Did you ever have a senior moment? <laughs> that was a real senior moment. There. Does that look right? Yep. Yeah. That looks right. Okay, that's good. Yeah. That's good. Okay. Do you want to sew them? Uh, you want me to? Sure. I want you to sew them. Maybe we can talk about something else. <laughs> All right. Okay, so now. Where would you like me to start Remember which side with? did I say to start on? Right. Right side. Right side. And okay. So while you do I that. I have to do one before I come here. I, I realize she puts me in the spot. Oh, but show them how nice it oh. match, how it lines up. Well. Show Eric. Is oh. it incredible? Yeah. The, these points, let's move it forward. See how that lines up? Yep. Mm -hmm. And that? Very I think precise. Very precise. I think it's really, really cool. Okay. It's really, really cool. And, um, we, well, she, she does that one. Okay, you good? You want to turn over and look at your last page. And it's all laid out for you really nice. And remember that I told you that I cut these. This was F, all my little scrap pieces are here and I cut them on the die but they were one and uh, three-fourths so I had one and three-fourths inch strips to do and so it just works really nice look how cute I love this I, I honestly got hooked on this I just wanted to keep on making these <laughs> Alan, you're right there on the other side. You would help me if you um, help me lay out this and put a yellow there, put it right side up. Okay, and we can just go up along here. Move um, another okay. one. Yep, just put something else there. Here's more. And little get the little pieces in. It's scrappy. Oh, we're doing great. Yay, lay it out. If See, I love it. Pardon me? Okay, wait a minute. We're nearly done. Can I press these all then? Or? Yeah, we'll press them as soon as we finish. Alan gets these all laid out. You're doing a lovely job there, Alan. One more. Oh, he's changing. Oh, see, look. Yes. Oh, now he has two yellows. <laughs> That's what you do. One's yellow, one's some other color. Lime green. <laughs> and I, I don't think we got anything for the, um, the bottom. We'll have to, we'll have to come back. Fruit. Yeah, but that looks, doesn't it look cute as a little table runner too? Yeah, yeah. I think it does too, really cute. Okay, so look how, look how good Teresa did this part. See how she matched here at the top and the bottom? 
good red thread. Okay, so I always yeah, like, that's pardon me? <laughs> Should you do good? I can't figure out what, oh, is this steam? Yeah. Oh, I was just trying to avoid it. I didn't know what it was. Okay, so once I press, then you just press it. And I'm like, woo, hard. And if you do not have a wool mat, you will, uh, you will be so excited. The seams just sink in on this wool mat. It's just so, so nice. Okay. All right. Good, good, good. Okay. 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 Feast your eyes on the seams. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, it, it really is a nice dye. I think that, um, oh, she found wait, her scissors. Wait, wait I'll use <gasps> it too. Oh, it, she it. told me we have a new tool. Somebody had this in my class and they showed me. Like a little flower. Thank you, Teresa. And I you, can I show you how it works? Look. Okay, you can show I me. I want it because even this morning I say, where is that thing? The blade is inside there. I'm not taking it apart. And it's a rotary cutter blade. After she goes home, then I'm going to just open that thing. And it tells me to line it up, the flower there. I, I don't know if Eric can see that, but see that flower inside there? I just line it up right there. And I'll just, and then you see these magnets right here? Oops, of course they're magnets. <laughs> they're <laughs> magnet, they magnet there and there, and you just line that up, which what I'm also gonna help me line up this, this opening, you know, right here and here, to line it up and just storage and take it me everywhere I go. That's that. very smart. And then in the, in the blade, blade saver, saver. And, you know, obviously you're protecting your blade. And I really like those things that stays in place. It doesn't move just like oh, that. Oh, that's thing, really you know? cool. Anyway. Okay, now put it back together. Now Good you lesson. just open it up. Thank you, because I, didn't, it I up. didn't know that. And then, again, you just line up your, uh, yeah, like, that is really it, cool. Clicked in it. And then you just I would just pick, I don't know, I would just pick one of the petals of the flower and put it down there. Perfect. Now I can use it or you now can I use can, it. Now I can use it. Okay. <laughs> now I can use it. This is, um, so the blade is right there. Oh, oh, look at that. Look. It does not come with a blade, so you know. That's you really, that is really I slick. I think the it's blade cute, they, plus it's cute. I think you can use your blaze that you you don't feel the right older. Yeah. That's yeah. what I did. That's what I put in there. My old blade. Okay, so now what um, I I'm going to show you. Remember, I said you do now. You do the left, but you f when you flip it, you line it all up, the top and the bottom, and you sew from the bottom up. So you don't fight against this seam right here. Yep. Okay. Because if you fight against that seam, it will definitely fall apart. So, okay, so it's pretty good. So let me see. Let me check this out. So this right here, that's not good. But anyhow, you could trim. You could see this right here. It's a, it. it's a quarter inch on the one side, okay? See, this is a quarter of an inch on this side, but this is sticking out on this side. So you can just take your rotary cutter and just sliver trim that top part. See right here? You just trim it off, okay? And I'm gonna walk over here. And now Eric can watch Teresa doing that, okay? This is pretty good. You all should have a helper like Teresa. <laughs> Oops. I don't see a rotary cutter. It's right there. Okay, so while she does that, I'm going to sliver trim this, and how are we doing? And I'm going to press this. Yep. Okay. You're going to set and press it, and then I'm going to sliver trim it. Okay, look at that. I'm getting rid of that. 
just a little old thing. Good. Okay. A Chad. A Chad. Oh no, I won't be able to vote. No, no. Okay, we're good. Locale, this is what I do so I don't have too much starch in my tape. You know what? Oh, I was the behind the scene. Okay, <laughs> now, <laughs> now go and show I, it. What I do, I grab my pieces and I spray it a little bit so I don't have so much starch in my, on my mats. You know that Teresa is the only person that quilt in a day that ever went to college to learn how you're supposed to work with fabric and I know your teacher taught you that, right? <laughs> yes, I did. I did have a wonderful teacher for sure. She was from Italy and boy was she tough and but I did I I feel like I did learn a lot. Um, you know, we had to do a men's suit in order to graduate. We had to do a um, a dress with a bonnet. We had a hand sew a zipper and top to make an invisible zipper. And what was my other big, oh, we had to do a shirt with the most difficult plaids. And then we had to line up all these things and the button holes and all that stuff. But I learned a lot. <laughs> yeah, I just felt that that technique was like a dressmaker technique that, that I saw. And oh. I saw you do that before. And Teresa is right because, Wait, oops, I don't have your my flower. Oh. oh my goodness, my flower. This is really cool. If this is a used blade, it that was it is, was my used blade. I you, you it know. It is extremely sharp. Sometimes you have sharp. to change your blade when you run into something. So yeah. Really good yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. So I saw a little wrinkle right here, and she pressed that part, and now I am really like, oh, oh. Ugh, get it good. It's really nice. Really nice and flat. I will look for it. All right. We got the little star in the middle. We got those four stars, four corners. Put these around the outside. Looking good. What do you think? Fantastic. Woo! Do you want me to sew it or or you want me to keep on going? You okay? Because we have we have a couple of other things to show you. Oh, but whenever you get these all pressed, let me see. See how nice they look on the back? Same thing. The the two on the outside edges go away from the center and the middle goes towards the center and then this goes out got that all de memorized okay i want you to bring all your blocks back next month <laughs> and show what they look like okay so that was how's that for rising star is that good yay okay thank you okay go back to this sheet right here and it says right in the bottom, optional for one and three fourths inch strip guy. If you own that, cut your cornerstones from the F and cut your strips from the one and three fourths inch strip die. I, I thought it was nice, but if you just, the directions say one and a half inch, you can cut one and a half inch strips and then you can turn and sub cut one and a half inch squares and they would only be one eighth inch smaller than mine nobody would even know right yeah. right i'm just always looking for ways that i can use my accuquilt strips